With just 20 days left in the year, two of three sisters occupying the boyhood home of Marcus Garvey want to vacate the property. The sisters, speaking out for the first time since a public spat between the culture minister and their sister in August, say they shouldn't be punished for their sister's recalcitrance. Giovanni Dennis has been tracking that story. Two completed units in Seville Heights, St. Anne, and space for a third. The houses are for these sisters, Carla and Jacinth Johnson, provided by the government who want the current property they occupy, the boyhood home of national hero Marcus Garvey. They are ready to move in. This thing is dragging out too long. Marcus Garvey muse Museum needs to be built any time now, and we get relocated. We are already relocated, and we don't live in our house as yet. I need to go in my house. I'm excited to go in my house. I'm comfortable with what the government gives to me, and I'm satisfied. So too is her eldest sister, Carla. And my mother dead and gone, my father dead and gone, and I inherit nothing. Me want to inherit it, me and my little sister. Free up Marcus, time to free up Marcus. Now and I'm willing to get the key to go in my house. But since August, their other sister, Colleen, has been contending that the property was undervalued, noting more should have been offered. Now, she says she's willing to move, but insists no formal contract was offered. They're supposed to give me agreement for me to leave this place. They didn't give me no agreement. I need an agreement. I need a binding contract. That's, a, that's in any case thing jump off me, know who me forgot to. Or if you just come take me place and give me an agreement. That is what costs the whole thing. The culture minister provided our new center with signed letters from each sister saying they were indeed awaiting a formal offer. In the meantime, the property in Seville remains uncut while the two units are gathering dust and Carla and Jacinth are tired of waiting because of their sister. Let us inherit what we signed for and let they deal with Colleen and her issues at a time. We want to go in our house now. In August, the culture minister had insisted the keys would not be handed over until all three sisters agreed to the government's offer. A source at the Jamaica National Heritage Trust told TVJ News on Saturday that offers were made to all three sisters with only Colleen refusing. The public defender says the matter needs to be resolved, noting her office was satisfied with the new properties being offered. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.